Welcome back to Sister Circle Live with Christmas season in reach. I wanted to give my youngest son Kingston with the chance to spend time with the Lego master model builder, Amanda Amaral. As many of you know, Kingston is a Lego connoisseur and wizard, crafting masterpieces with as many as 2,500 pieces. During our time with Amanda, she chatted about how Lego is an amazing learning tool for children and much more. Let's take a look. Megan, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. I'm excited oh my to be God. here. So there's 12 master builders in North America, mm -hmm. and you are the only female. I am. That is super <laughs> cool. What made you want to get into building Legos? We were talking about this a little bit, but tell us why you love Legos so much. Well, so I've been building with Lego since I was a kid, mm -hmm. as most people have at yes. this point, right? <laughs> my mom suggested I go to school for architecture, so I have a bachelor's degree in architecture, and wow. it led right back to building with Lego. Wow. Um, I love it just because you can build anything. It's, There's it's, no limits. <laughs> it's absolutely um, stressful for me. <laughs> but it looks peaceful. Um, oh, it is. For the two of you. Now, what are your tips for girls and boys who may aspire to one day be master builders? Well, I had to compete in a build-off competition to oh, get the wow. job. So we were given a time limit and a theme right before we started building, mm -hmm. and random bricks, just like you see here. Wow. And so we had to compete. But I would say just keep building. Just you know, try building. to find different things to build. Challenge yourself. Mm -hmm. um, it's all about problem solving. So trying to figure out making what you have in your mind out mm -hmm. of the pieces that you have available. Well, speaking of all of that, <laughs> um, this is my son, Kingston. Kingston's, say hi to Megan. Hi. So yeah. This is Megan over here. Say hi, Megan. Hi, Kingston. Kingston um, probably aspires to be a master builder one day. I can um, see. He's already. <laughs> he has already got several my job. concepts. <laughs> yes. Um, and so I wanted him to meet you because he loves Legos. My son is on the spectrum. I don't like to say autism. He's on the spectrum. Mm -hmm. And we know that children who are on the spectrum Absolutely. they love. Legos. Absolutely. Um, so maybe we can give Kingston a little challenge, and then you can um, give us some of the programs and, and the perks of development that Legos provide for Absolutely. children on the spectrum. So we brought a little set for you. Now, sometimes Kingston. we do this challenge. But we want to have you included, too. But we'll do this one for right now. Okay. So we've got, we're going to see you show them what you're working with, how Kingston. quickly you can build this set with okay. the instructions. All right, so we've got the instructions here. It's just like at home. Absolutely. I'm sure you do this all the time, so I'm a little worried that you're going to do it too fast. Okay. Do your thing. <laughs> Turn up. So Lego is great for all kids, um, especially with those on the spectrum. Mm -hmm. It's a controlled play. Mm -hmm. It's a controlled toy. So yeah. when it was first invented, they wanted to create a system of play. Yeah. All the bricks fit together mm -hmm. in a very specific way, and mm -hmm. that doesn't ever change. Wow. You know, it's a system of play. So that's great for kids on the spectrum because mm -hmm. it's a controlled environment where they can also be creative. Yeah. Do you think that this helps them with their hand-to-eye coordination? Lego bricks is such a small thing, and trying to get them to line up just right so that mm -hmm. they can click together. Um, it definitely helps with your hand-eye coordination. We've had grandparents come to the attraction and the kids have to help them put the pieces yes. together. You know, it really helps with that dexterity of your yes. fingers and hands. And I'm, I'm not even a grandparent. <laughs> and somebody would have to help me down to Legos because <laughs> when I tell you the patience level, that oh, you yeah. have to oh, have yeah. the patience <laughs> of Job. <laughs> now, I know that STEM is something that is, you know, is really prominent in schools everywhere. Um, talk to us about how Legos and STEM are kind of collaborating. Um, well, STEM is a huge thing with Lego bricks because it's all mm -hmm. math. For example, one of these smaller, thinner pieces, mm -hmm. uh, this plate is one-third the height of a regular brick. Wow. So if you put three of them together, it's the same height as a regular brick. Wow. So that's fractions in Lego bricks. <laughs> How are you coming over there with your penguin? How long we got? Oh, he's almost done. You're almost done with your penguin? Yep. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, um, you guys are doing something very cool for the holiday season, and it's called the Holiday Bricktacular. Yes. What is that? Well, everything is decked Sounds out. Massive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything is decked out mm -hmm. with decorations. Um, we have a Santa Claus, um, oh. a minifigure Santa Claus that comes out that you can interact with and take pictures with. You can build snowflakes while they're in there. Can There's the kids come and build too? Um, yep, yeah, I believe the kids can come in and help build the mm -hmm. tree. The, the master builders there, they have a whole team of them that kind of work on the tree together so ah. the kids can go help. Well, Kingston, um, it looks like you're coming towards the end here. Of... <laughs> He's done. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Let's turn it around. Turn it around so the people can see. Hold it up. What's on his head? Are those earmuffs? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you built that in, I don't know. Five minutes? <laughs> I, less than that. The, a little birdie told me that you all were going to try to make me do this oh, mother yeah. and son challenge. <laughs> now, I've just stated that I'm not good with this. 
We'll give you one that you can't you can't lose that. How that about I that? can't lose because I go. hate losing. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't want to lose to my son, even though I love him, but I will I'm competitive. All so right. So I will you're gonna try to compete. Just these pieces. Here okay. you go. And you're gonna make a duck. A duck? That's uh -oh. it. You're gonna create a duck. We're using all we each have the same exact pieces. Okay. This is mine, baby. And this is yours. We're gonna do a contest. And you're gonna build a duck. Let's see what the duck look like. Okay. Let me see what mommy can do. You build a duck. This is a fool. I can't. <laughs> okay, I think I got y'all on this one. Hold the line, hold the line. Ta da! All right, so let's see. Oh, you're the cold! <laughs> Case of snow! Oh, ours are exactly the same! How did you do that? And look at this my is, duck. We're all too much alike. That's what it is. My duck is a fool. My duck looks like a <laughs> no, little building. No, that's building. great. There's no. <laughs> that's what's great about this challenge. The same six pieces. Look at that. And they're all ours are very similar, but they're all very slightly different because everyone thinks differently. But none of them are wrong. There are 900 million ways, over 900 million ways for six of this brick to be put together. Case okay, so you did a duck just like the master <laughs> builder. Wow. So there are endless possibilities with Lego bricks. Wow. Well, the people say Selena and Kingston face off in one more challenge. Lord That's up next, so stay with us. God help Your duck was a fool, though. It was a fool. <laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. As promised before the break, here's a look at how it all went down during Selena and Kingston's Santa Building Lego Challenge. You ready? <laughs> Get set, go. Oh, man, Kingston. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Oh, Kingston, this is too many pieces. There's a lot of small pieces. It's too. a lot of small pieces. <laughs> I can't see this. I will be too. You think you're gonna beat me? I don't think so, sir. Cause I am really looking. Listen, I had you, okay? So that means I know how to build stuff too. Okay, so now this is too many directions. What What is this? So mean? whenever you have that yellow box there, that yeah, means- Yeah, that's too much. That means you're gonna set aside your model and build something else and attach it to the model. It's called modular building. Okay, let me see, what, what is that? And you're doing black, a great job. I'm really gonna be you. No, you're not. <laughs> I, am, I am doing my thing. I, oh yeah, I'm doing my thing. This I'm gonna little, beat you, I'm doing my thing. It appears that you're gonna beat me, you are doing your thing. He's already flipped the page over. He's flipped the page over 36 <laughs> times. <laughs> So when you're done, Kingston, you might have to finish mom's for her. I am going to finish. Let me tell you something. He got shoulders and a whole body. I'm about to turn up on him. Let me see. First, you got to add up two by three plate. Oh, I another, another height. There you go. <laughs> you're not done yet. Still got to build your reindeer. I'm going to build a table. Our table. That's our table. Oh, oh my god. This is so hard. It's easy. OK, there's Santa. He's well, missing, he's missing a piece. His eyes. He don't have no eyes. Okay, let me see. <laughs> he's just trying to see out here. You know, I, I got the man out here bogus. He can't even see. Okay, there's my Santa. Ta da! Well, he's got a hat on too. Now he flipped the page over. Ta da! <laughs> well, Casey, you beat me, but I, I mean, Santa don't have no hat on. That's because my Santa is got manners. Okay, then. So he went inside the building and took his hat off. <laughs> and that's why he doesn't have a, a hat. But you're so smart. Thank you so much. <laughs> Megan, thank you so much for everything. Thank you this for having was me. This awesome and amazing. <laughs> to find out more about Megan on all the amazing things that LEGO is doing, please visit LEGOLANDDISCOVERYCENTER.COM. Yay. Casey, you're awesome. So what is it? Yay. Yay. That was awesome. And don't forget, if you're looking for something fun to do with the kids and you're in the ATL or a city with the Lego Discovery Center, Bricktacular is happening until December 31st. Yes, great job. Yeah, yeah, I tried. So you did good, Mama. You did I tried. You know, I, knew, I probably didn't stand a chance. Why didn't your Santa have on a hat again? Well, because I didn't have my glasses. Right, right. <laughs>